hey everyone welcome back to my kitchen today's appetizers day and i've got for you some green banana and sawfish balls so stay tuned let me show you how to get this awesome goodness i won't stop no 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 i won't stop i won't stop i won't stop no 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 i won't stop So guys, I'm going to be using four green bananas for this recipe. Now this recipe makes roughly about 15 balls. So if you don't want so much, just use less. So I'm just going to go ahead now and just start preparing my banana to cook. Now I do cook banana in the skin. I didn't used to, but girl once i found out about this boy listen there's no going back who after a fair peel banana no nothing in my kitchen no more just slide a knife down the middle of it you see right by that where's that now what do you call that the the, the edge whatever <laughs> just slide your knife down there make a slit at the top when you're sliding down your knife if you don't know how to peel the banana once you're sliding down your knife kind of slide and push at the same time and just make a nice little slit at the bottom don't cut it all the way through now we're gonna boil these bad boys and yes if you don't know about cooking banana the skin of the skin you better get to know it because mm, trust me it's the best so um, this is the pot that I'm boiling the sawfish in. So um, all I've got in there is just a little bit of oil. I didn't put no salt in it because you know the sawfish have salt. And as I was say, man, the people them blood pressure. Don't make the people them chat to say the food salt and you have to add, you run up them blood pressure and then one will lip of water and all them thing and thing and thing. So whilst that's cooking, let's go ahead and get the sawfish now my sawfish has been boiling for about 10 to 15 minutes trying to get that salt out and it was pre-salt as well so in a pan now with some oil i've got onions bell peppers garlic cloves scotch bonnet pepper and some tomatoes and i'm just gonna fry those off for about three to four minutes before adding the sawfish once i add in the sawfish all i'm gonna put on here is some black pepper and i'm going to just saute this in the pan for about roughly about six minutes then i'm going to cover it and leave it for about another four to five minutes once this is done i'm going to go ahead and put this in my food processor and i'm just going to literally pulse it and then i'm just going to just process it for a couple of minutes because i don't want it to be a smooth mixture i want a little bit of texture left now the food processor i'm using is my kenwood food processor i will leave the link in the description box if you're interested in this food processor now once that's done i'm gonna put it back in the pan that i cooked the sawfish in because you know all that goodness and those all nice eye left in there we don't wanna no we ain't wasting that so once I've done that, my, once your bananas are cooked, you're going to go ahead now, put your bananas in the pot. Now, the skin comes off really, really, really easily, as you saw. Now, just get your masher and just mash it all together. If you're new to my channel, guys, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You can also follow me on Instagram at Shell's Homestyle Kitchen. And don't forget to give me a like on this video guys and don't forget to also leave me a comment now what i'm doing here i'm just spreading the mixture out and just kind of put some you know trying to get some air in it so it cools down quickly now to make my coating i'm gonna use some plain flour some breadcrumbs and i've just got an egg in a in a bowl and I'm just putting really some sparkling water in it 
now grab a little bit of that mixture try to form it in a bowl the best way you can if you can roll it in your palms and get it done then go ahead but you know i'm just using the spoon to help get that shape so first of all i'm just going to roll it in the flour then i'm going to put it in the egg mixture then i'm going to put it in the breadcrumbs then back into the egg mixture and back into the breadcrumbs just to give it that you know that firm coating guys if you're still here with me leave me a let's see a ball <laughs> leave me a ball emoji and if you're returning to my channel welcome back thank you so much for returning i really 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 appreciate you guys you guys are absolutely awesome now guys i love this dish because you know growing up when you have food like this and you mash it all together and it's just nice so you know what why not just add all the thing up and just make it gourmet now you see that coating on there guys like i'm just literally now just forming it in my hand just you know just to keep that shape now i'm gonna fry these for i fried these for about four minutes because remember the banana and the sauce is just already cooked you just want to you know just cook through that that coating just a little bit just get to get it all crisp up in yes guys there you have it now set those bad boys aside and let's work on this sauce so all i'm using is some avocado I'm gonna go ahead and add in some black pepper and some salt. Squeeze in some lemon juice. I'm gonna also add just a little bit of scotch bonnet pepper. Now this is totally optional, if you're afraid of the pepper, leave it alone, but I find that it gives it such a nice kick. And I'm just going to add some mayonnaise now and some water. And all I'm going to do, I'm just going to blitz this all up to make my sauce. I did taste this guys and it didn't have that much heat in it so I'm just going to go ahead and add a little more now as I said before this is totally optional don't come for me but lad we can't take it pepper we can't take it pepper don't put it in there but it does give it a nice kick <laughs> oh you don't have to use so much uh, can't take it free to free the people in the pepper you know? <laughs> there you have it guys my sauce you know what do I call this sauce for <laughs> I'll figure something out and there you have it just you know set it up try to impress those folks you know put a little decoration on there and then say yeah oh my god that's so pretty look at that guys yes that sauce though but you know can't eat Jamaican hard food and we don't have like a little pear on the side so as I said before you know I mean make it I don't the thing up you know you can't have the big hunk of pear just make a nice sauce yeah for real it was nice now let's break open this bad boy let's see as you can see you know it's still quite light guys this would be a great great appetizer you know when you have the people them coming around and you want you know start a little starter you know instead of getting soup 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 all the time just roll the stuff and just you know all right give them come on take a bite open wide open wide open your mouth me say ah, nice done yeah man it bad <laughs> guys thank you so 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 much for returning to my channel i've hit a 2000 subscribers and i'm like so 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 excited to see what's to come like you know thank you for being on this journey with me i really really appreciate it if you're still here with me leave me some green heart emojis and as i always say aim high work hard but smart because the sky's the limit only you can limit yourself thanks for watching bye